Okay, for those of you who don't know about Trigger Trombone, once you get to 7th position and drop your armature down, you can continue to go from, I forget the note, but for example, I'll go out to 7th and demonstrate, and then I'll pick up the mic again and tell you more about what I'm talking about. Or now going from seventh back to first, you can go back down to seventh with the trigger engaged, and it should sound something like this. I'll start in third and work my way down to seventh without the trigger, and then when I get to seventh, I'll hit the trigger. And it should sound something like this. Now, I don't think without the trigger that you could do that, so I'm going to try that right now. I have to start out in fifth position and work my way up. <laughs> I have no idea what note that is, but that's the highest note I can hit. And then another thing I've learned with the trigger is you can do this. And I think I mentioned that in one of my videos. And I think the slide positions for that is one, four, three, two, but I can't remember. <laughs> So, uh, let's see, what else, what else? Um, I have trouble going out after third on the low range, go na na na, na na na, you know, so on and so forth. For example, <laughs> Once I go from first to third, I can't hit those low notes, but I can go, which is strange. So, uh, I'm going to pull my main slide out and my trigger slide, and if you do that, it shouldn't come out, but... And this is... Uh, Detune trombone, trigger and main. So it's going to sound like this. <laughs>
the slide on the bottom is all the way out and my top tuning slides out. So this is what it would sound like if you tried to play no 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 no. See it won't play it. But now if I play it with this one three one three, it should sound the same. Now I push the trigger back in and my main slide back in. And this is what it sounds like. Notice I couldn't play na 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 na. Now I can. Now I'm gonna pull the trigger back out, my main tuning slide back out, and we're gonna see what those low notes that I played earlier though sound like when I hit the trigger. They sound pretty much the same. So, um, let's see, what else, what else? Oh, you can... Here's the tuning side for the trigger. This is what it would be like without a trigger. For example, I learned how to play a F sharp minor. That's all out. Sixth and fifth. Now when I put my trigger back in. I forget exactly what he did, but he hit the trigger with something. Now, without the trigger, it sounds like this. Notice the note coming out of the hole where there's nothing in the t the the tube's not in there, the slide. It's the same note. So for example see it went out of the tune. You can hear it. Because what it's doing is going through this, hang on, this tube right here and coming out right there where there's no slide. So that's why it goes na 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 na. some are longer and you can put it in either way it doesn't matter but my favorite is to do that some trombones trigger trombones will have this part move and this part I guess it's just for extra tuning um, I don't know so um, yeah As composed to you. So that's that. And the way you'll know your F is out of tune is you play F in first position. If that's in tune, then you're good. Then what you do to see if your trigger's in tune is, obviously F is going to be F. So, for example, F can be played in sixth or first. I think I mentioned this before. And the way you check your trigger is, you hit your button, and it should sound the same as the F when you play in first position. <coughs> Hang on. <coughs> now you hear that da 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 sound? That's me hitting the trigger. Now I'm going to pull 
with my Spyro and my main cheating card just a little bit. And this is what it sounds like. Big team. <laughs> Hear how it went flat. So now I will demonstrate with the tune trigger what it sounds like detuned. It's basically like moving the slide out just a little when I detuned it, when I pulled the trigger slide out. It's basically like hitting the trigger and then moving the slide a little while. So, um, oh, yeah, there's some other note, I, I think it's B flat, compared to, and you can still get the same, trigger will make that growling sound. Now, I can't remember how to do it, but there's a way you can make it sound like two notes are being played at once. Well, uh, I'm going to attempt that. You do it by making the growling sound, and it kind of produces one note, and it kind of produces another, because you're in between two notes. <laughs> Um, 
So what you do is and this is bending and I'll just play smoke on the water you hear that wow wow that's bending I know I should be doing a trombone video, but I guess I could do a little guitar. Okay, so this, this part right here under the strings is called the fretboard, and the little white parts, the little white dots are called frets. Each bar the little spaces right here is a fret. So, for example, this is open. And then any... When you put your fingers on any string, that becomes a chord. Or, yeah, a chord of some sort. So, for example, my... I call it my first string, the top one at, the top lowest I think is the sixth, I don't know why they do that, but for example, there's one, that's composed to, want to kind of fine tune your string and it sounds a little out of tune hang on if you listen to the third chord the third string you know what I mean this one right here when I played it sounds a little flat For some reason, that string has become tuned to a completely different note. I didn't tune it, I didn't do anything to it. So it used to be different. If you've seen my other videos where I just strum my guitar, it didn't used to be like... So I don't know how that one got detuned to some other note. But it actually sounds kind of cool. For example, it makes this, my sixth string, first string, whatever you call it, sound different than what I used to have it for. So if you just notice my other videos where I play sixth first string, whatever you call it, and I go, you can tell it sounds different. And none of the chords that I used to play go into each other now. Hear that sound? The note not going into it? See how when you play this? don't have it tuned just right, the note will kind of sound phased out of tune. See, that string sounds a little out of tune. See, now when I try and do it again,
because last time I tried to tune the string, I broke one. Go figure. So, um, we're just gonna leave that one where it's at. And two of my things have gone missing now. It used to be just one, but now I only look like a bass guitar here, if you can see. I only look like I have four strings, but I really have six. See, no notice how it sounds different? I didn't used to have to go here, I could go there. So... go up to the next string instead of go because once you get so high you can switch to the next string anything see now when I go see they sound the same that string won't go below I could tune it to go below that note, but then I wouldn't know how to fix it. I don't know how to play guitar. Well, I do know how to play guitar, kind of, but... Yeah. That used to be na-na-na. So now I'm going to try and fix it, and hopefully I don't break the string. Na-na-na. way out of the tune, I have no idea, so, that's how it's supposed to sound, at least I think it is, now that note that I played earlier, see how, see how it goes in tune now? See when your string and I could tell something was wrong. I could tell something was wrong with my string because when I went it didn't sound the same. It sounded like a half the whole note lower. So, um yeah, I've really got a ear for music and uh to all you people out there who, uh, say I suck or, uh, should kill myself, haters keep on hating. You know, that I should make a song about that. Haters keep on hating. I'm not a very good rapper, but I could learn. See ya.